Okay, is this working? Hold on. Literally, I the story of my life. It's a little, little lighter now. Okay. Anyways, hey everyone. I would like to first say hi. I guess, but apologies that I haven't been super adamant with my YouTube and my my IGTV. I kind of just took a little time to rekindle myself, find myself, and. Was really f I've really been focusing on schooling and getting back to work and yeah, my acting stuff. So that's kind of taken over my life a bit, but I'm like, you know what? If I have some time, I can sit down and talk to a camera and talk to you all. So I decided what a better, what's a better way to rekindle this YouTube, Instagram relationship, but with some Q and A's, some updated Q and A's. So, well, let's get started. I literally am just seeing these now, so we shall see. And honestly, I have to kind of like filter a bit because you guys ask crazy questions. I mean, I, I think it's hilarious because I think in a very strange way, but I have a bit more like, you know, like I can't answer these. It has to be at least PG a little bit. Anyways, well, I will like give you, maybe I'll give you a Roxy update. Roxy now, come here. Just turned three yesterday, and I just arrived back from Germany yesterday too, right in time for my little girl's birthday. But now she is three years old, and literally, she's gotten so big. Okay, I'm sorry, puppy. I won't do that. But she's gotten, she's gotten big. Anybody that knows me knows her. She's, she's gotten big girl, huh? Okay, go play with your toy. You can stay here. I don't care. All right. So, well, this is kind of a cool one to start with. My favorite places to go in New York. That is such a broad question because New York is so big and I've been living here now for, you know, what, going on nine, whoa, going on nine, going on nine years, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, yeah, like nine years I've been living here. So depending where you go, for tourists or if you're like coming here for the first time, I always suggest going on the hop on hop off bus. I'm such a weirdo and every single city I go to, even New York, I've been on the hop on hop off bus like probably a dozen times with friends, family and just me being a nerd and just being like exploring different things about the city. I suggest that any city you go, but you can learn a lot about the history of the city and kind of New York in general if you go on one of those buses. You can find them like at the Rockefeller Center, down at like the down at like Statue of Liberty, you can find those buses and all like the main hubs, but if you're only here for a few days, I suggest going check out, you know, like I said, Top of the Rock, Central Park, Statue of Liberty, try to catch a ferry. It's super cheap, but you can just go on the water around the city. Um, I actually have a view of the city right now, but it's kind of bad lighting. So I'm, I'm actually just looking at it, seeing what I, what is some inspiration. Oh, of course, the Freedom Tower, um, that exhibition is really, that museum. I actually just recently went to it last year, me living here this whole time, I've yet to go to it. Cause it's really hard for me. I mean, I guess for a lot of people, it's really hard to see all of that, but that museum is like, oof, it's, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit much, but it really tells the history as to what happened in 2001. And yeah, when the towers got hit. Um, there's so many museums here that are so interesting. If you're into art, go to the MoMA, go to the Whitney. If you just want to go see like a cool big museum, I suggest the Natural History Museum. They have this huge whale on the wall, like on the ceiling. Uh, there's so many galleries here if you're an art person. I personally like to go to a lot of galleries. And just walking around and getting lost. Google Maps is a beautiful thing in the city and I suggest, and the, you know, honestly, the subways here are super easy in my, mm, in my opinion, they are, but when I first moved here, it was like, where am I? I ended up like in like middles, middle of Brooklyn places, but Google Maps is a beautiful thing. It can get you a lot of places. And actually New Yorkers, in my opinion, are pretty nice. They might not seem like they are when they're walking past you, but I kind of think of New York as like a highway. You don't necessarily look at everyone on the highway or wave hello of everyone on the highway. But if you do stop someone on the street, kind of like, you know, if they're on the corner or something, they seem like they're a New Yorker, you can simply just ask them where things are, what direction to go in, and everyone is like willing to help actually here. So New Yorkers have a bad rep. I guess if you catch someone on a bad day, just ignore them and like let that be, but usually everyone helps you out. 
Okay, why have I been traveling so much? <clears throat> well, honestly, you know, not being able to, I, I told my story in this, my previous post, not being able to move and being really still for a very long time can really mess with your human psyche and just like, I'm the kind of person that is, always wants to be doing something, always wants to be on the go, constantly exploring, constantly being inspired. And inspiration comes from traveling for me and experiencing different things and things that are super, I try each day to do something outside of my comfort zone that makes me like I'm scared of, I'm like fearful of, not every day, not every day, but like a lot, at least recently, that I'm kind of like, oh shit, sorry, I swear. That was actually another question if I curse. Yeah, I do. I grew up upstate with my parents cursing. I mean, like not bad, not bad cursing, but yeah, sorry. Um, so I just, I like people ask me like, what inspires you? Like colors inspire you, people inspire you. Culture and traveling and even being up in an airplane inspires me. And just, hold on, my agent just texted me. And just being, you know, just exploring different things, not knowing the language is like so interesting to me. And yeah, living kind of the lifestyle of that culture or that area of the world for a bit. I'm just a wanderer at heart. It's just um, wherever I follow my gut. So I'm like, okay, I can't be sitting still for too long. Anybody that's known me, especially in the summertime, I leave the city every single weekend just go explore. Even if it's a tent, like up to an hour, I'll go up, like go camping. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, what supplements do I take? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I take B12. Well, it's not that interesting. It's a good question. So everyone asked me that. Thank you. I take B12. I take zinc. It helps me from like not getting sick. Vitamin C, especially in the winter time. And a probiotic is what I usually try to be really good at taking every single day. Sometimes I'll throw some other supplements in there too. But those four I found have worked for me the best and sometimes some vitamin D, especially when you're not getting as much sun as you usually do. So vitamin D. Okay. <laughs> Guys, some of these questions are insane. Like I can't, I can't answer these. Okay. If you're breaking out, what do you do? Currently, actually, I have makeup on now. I'm breaking out. I don't know why. Maybe it's from traveling and not eating the best. Not Sometimes I just, you know, when you travel, you're like, okay. Um, ugh, I just kind of let it, the wave ride through with the breakouts. It kind of sucks. It's like, come on. How old am I? I'm almost 25. Like, am I still breaking out? Like, that's crazy. But yeah. I'm still breaking out. I have like a little breakout right here, like little tiny bit bits. And I have like, I always, for some reason on my forehead, get these cluster zits. So we have like a couple here and here. Uh, a recent facialist just told me to do the acne patches. So I use the acne patches, cleanse my face, moisturize it as usual. And I kind of just let it go through its cycle because yeah, acne really sucks. It does. But I understand everyone. I get it. It is, it is what it is and everyone should just accept the fact that we're all human and we get bumps. Uh, okay, stand by. First, you're my inspiration. Oh, that was, thank you. I'm my inspiration for everything. That's crazy to hear. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what are your, what's my recommendation for healthy eating? You know what? I... People have, if there's also a question if I'm, are you a vegan? So I'll put these two questions in one. No, I am not a vegan. I've tried before and I personally just, I can't do it. I took my, I took my blood type a couple of years ago and I'm like O positive and that is the caveman blood. And you literally, from back in the day of the caveman, and you actually, I've tried to like be vegetarian, I tried being pescatarian, I tried being vegan for a while, and it doesn't help me. It actually makes me feel, I know it sounds crazy, it doesn't make me feel good. Like, it doesn't make me feel as good as I feel when I'm eating meat and whatnot. I mean, I don't eat like a crazy amount of meat, but I'll have like chicken in my salad, or I'll have that kind of as a protein. I'll have a burger here and there. But, um, I mean, like, I'm not like, I'm like, every single meal I need my protein, like, I need my meat, but 
anyways, back to the healthy, back to the healthy eating in the morning. You know, I really suck at breakfast, which is horrible. I don't know why I suck at breakfast, but if I'm on the go, I know this is super random, a cliff bar, <laughs> but don't eat that for like your day. Um, if I'm eating breakfast, I'll, I'll make like a nice smoothie with spinach, you know, all my like vitamins and I'll do another vlog on that on like uh, fruits in there and a bunch of stuff. Uh, lunch. I get bored so I mix it up. Sometimes I have sushi, sometimes I have a salad, sometimes I, like I said, sometimes I have a burger, but that's rare. If I'm like, you know, on vacation or something, maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, and dinner, honestly, I know this sounds bad, but that's my favorite meal of the day is dinner. I just love to have a nice meal at night. I don't know what it is, it's something about the dark and the day winding down and being like, okay. Sorry, my heat just went on. Okay, I can have like a nice meal now. It, it just varies as to what I eat. I guess a protein if I wanna be healthy with a vegetable and maybe some quinoa on the side. Um, yeah, you know, I just eat in moderation and I've learned this other thing, this might sound insane to some people, but if you eat in a mindset of happiness and not regretting what you're eating when you're eating it, it I swear to you, the mind does crazy, crazy, crazy things. And I've been teaching myself this. You, it doesn't affect you as much as if after you eat and you're like, oh my God, I regretted that so much. Like, why did I just do that to myself? I have to go run five miles now. Oh my God, it looks so bloated, it looks like shit, like all this different stuff. But if you're just like, yeah, I just had that and I feel great and it's not gonna show on me, yeah, I'll go work out when I need to. It works literally like a charm and that's been working for me, just a different mindset of it. Like mindset is everything. I believe that our brains can tell the body to do literally anything. It's it's crazy how many that the brain does. Okay, I have to filter through some of these because these are insane. <laughs> Maybe I should do like a private one of like the questions that are being asked on here. Woo. Okay, this one says, "Have you ever broken a bone?" That's funny. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that one. Have you ever shot a gun? Um, you know I'm really anti guns. I maybe at like a carnival when I was younger, like one of those like one of those little things, a little uh, you know, you like win a fish or whatever, you win like a I don't know that, but like no, I don't. I'm not into guns. Have you ever dined and dashed like ate and not paid? Uh, I mean, personally, I didn't pay, but someone else paid <laughs> if that counts. Uh, no, I would never, I don't, I have like this conscious that I would never be able to do that. Have I ever been, have I ever been hunting? I, long, no, I don't like guns, so I would never go hunting and I've never been hunting. Have you ever bungee jumped? No, I have not. Uh, hmm. Have I ever hitchhiked? Oh my God, this is actually such a funny question. So, my very good friend Cece, who got married recently, I posted on my Instagram when I was in Tulum uh, at her bachelorette party. But this is super safe. We just didn't have a car and we were in Montauk. Um, we just wanted to get to the beach, which was super close, but like far enough that it's like an annoying walk, but like a, a five minute car ride. So I'm with a bunch of girlfriends, right? And I'm like, guys, I don't want to walk this far. We have so much stuff to carry. I'm like, come on, we can do it. I'm like, yo, look at this ice cream truck. Do you think he'll pick us up? He looks cool. So I literally, I go, guys, let's see if we can get this ice cream truck, this ice cream guy to like give us a ride there. And I'm like, hey. And he stops, he's like, what's up girls? And I'm like, uh, would you mind just giving us a ride down to the beach? And he's like, yeah, how about it? So, me and a bunch of girlfriends hopped in an ice cream truck and took a little cute ride down to the beach. So if that counts as hitchhiking, I guess I, yeah. I guess I have, oh, and I have, I've caught some, yeah, I've definitely caught some rides with some people. I have a funny story in Tulum, actually. I got a bike ride from like a shaman one night because it was such a long walk and he's like, I'll give you a bike ride. And I'm like, mm, so sketchy. But I was with some friends and like, it was okay. I can't believe I just told you guys that, but hey, Q and A. Wow, this is a long Q and A. I'll wrap this up soon, sorry. I've been talking way too much, okay. 
have ever saved someone's life? That's an insane question. Actually, when I was younger, there was a kid drowning in a pool and the mom was not paying attention. And I thought he was just kind of trying to swim. He was like three, he was under the water. I was probably like 10 or 11 at the time. And I was like, is that child drowning? So I jumped in there, I grabbed him and he for sure was drowning. We had to give him CPR, which was crazy. Uh, guys, these questions are crazy. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up soon because 15 minutes is absurd. Okay, 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 okay. What's the worst thing I ever ate, ate out of politeness? Everyone that knows me knows I despise shrimp, especially if it's cold, I cannot do it. The, sh the texture, when I first tried it, it was the most repulsive thing I ever tried in my life. With the horseradish, I just cannot do it. But yeah, probably that out of politeness of someone would probably be uh, cold shrimp. Oh, oh, thinking about it just gives me like the goosebumps. Okay. You know what? I think 16 minutes is enough for a Q&A and a little catch up, but thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching and I'll be back with some more fun vlogs that might be kind of crazy, but like, will be fun. Okay, goodbye. Wait, come here. Come here. Oh, she's also gotten so lazy. Roxy, come here. Bye. Bye bye. Ciao. Wait, I can turn this off. Ah, reality. <laughs> I can turn this off.